I right, sign for another math. Easy solution. Turn to discuss some implicit differentiation example and basically look at uh, the equation of a circle. Uh, in my earlier video, I went over an introduction to implicit differentiation. So now I'm just going to go over this useful example and equation of a circle. Also, you can see the video links below for both implicit differentiation introduction and the equation of a circle where I prove it and uh, etc. and more info on it. So basically, the first the, well, this example states part A of it states. If you have this equation of a circle x squared plus y squared equals 25, find a derivative dy over dx. And then basically part b says uh, basically find the equation of a tangent line to the above circle at the point 3 and 4. Yeah, so if we look at part a, this is an implicit uh, f function because it, the, uh, the function y is not written in terms of x like explicitly or directly. Uh, because as you can see, there, there's both x and y on one side, and they're not they're not all separated. There's not a y on one side, x is on, on the other side. So, but instead of uh, so, there's two ways of, of solving this derivative. Actually, you could either find find y in terms of x and then take derivative, but that is com more complicated as I, as I will show. Or you could just f d take derivative of both sides because if you this just means using implicit differentiation, meaning taking the derivative of both the left and right. Because whatever you do to the left it has to be the same to the right here. So d over dx of the, of the right. So derivatives have to be the same if these are the same functions. So on the right side and left side, so we take derivative. We're going to get the derivative of, t of x squared using power rules just at 2x. You can see more on this in the video link below. And now if we take derivative of this one, we're going to get 2y. But now there's, this y is a function of x. So we need to use chain rule and we'll have dy over dx multiplied. And then on the right side, the root of 25 is a constant. That just equals to 0 right here. So now we have this. And if we solve for dy over dx, or equals to y prime, we get, move this to the left, to the right side, we get negative 2x. Divided by 2y, we'll get 2y right here. Equals to cancel the 2, negative x over y right here. So this is our uh, answer right here. And to see that this is correct, remember, it's in terms of y. If we solve this in terms of y, we get basically, or this function in terms of y, we'll get y squared. I'll shift everything first to the, shift the x squared to the right side, minus x squared. And if we square root both sides, we square root with that, we get basically uh, y is equal to plus or minus, because remember this is the y squared. If it's negative and you're squaring it, it's all it's going to be always positive. So positive or negative would be the same thing. So we need to include this negative. Uh, just to, just in case. So basically, we have two functions, and this would be 25 minus x squared. So this implicit function is actually made up two functions, and these are both semicircles right here. If we were to take the derivative of this, we get basically y prime is equal to. Well, this is the same thing as uh, if we write this as plus or minus 25 minus x squared, power of one over two. So then take take the root of this, we bring down this 1 over 2. So we'll get um, I'll, I'll, yeah, 1 over 2 right here. I'll leave the plus or minus in there. So we'll have um, plus or minus. Now, let's go write this plus or minus. Actually, I'll put that in front. So we'll leave the plus or minus in front. And then we'll have this now. Uh, we minus 1 here. So it's going to be or 2 over 2. And we're going to have uh, this is going to be 25 minus x squared power of 1 over 2. And, and then we take derivative of using chain rule. This is going to be now negative uh, 2x. So we'll have a negative 2x right here, which is derivative of uh, 25 is 0 and, and negative x squared. That's going to be using power rule 2x. So now the 2s cancel. So we'll be left with a, uh, basically, we'll be left with a negative x is on the top divided by the 2s cancel. So then I'm going to put the plus or minus here just to get an idea of. This is our y function. Yeah, and this is 25. This is the same thing as 25 minus x squared. And so then this is our y, which is a number of y is equal to plus or minus 25, uh, 25 minus x squared, or all square root. So now this is just equal to negative x and y. So, so I just wanted to show that it's the same thing. We will get back to the same thing, even though this is made of two functions, uh, if we just use implicit differentiation, which is much easier. So now let's look at part b right here. Find the equation of the tangent line to the above equation of circle at the point 3 and 4. Yeah, so at point 3 and 4, this is basically x. This is just y. This is coordinates. 
So now if we just plug it in using our differential equation right here, instead of actually using this y equals plus or minus the, the square root of 25 and then find derivative of that, we'll just use our y one we have, or derivative of y prime is equal to negative x over y. This equals to plug that in, we'll get three over four, uh, negative three over four. So then we want equation of a tangent line, that's just equals to y equals mx plus b. And we know m is the slope, we know x and y, we'll just plug these ones in. So we'll get four is equal to negative three over four multiplied by three, that's just x, and then plus b. So for this is gonna be four, bring this over to the other side, plus nine, three times three is nine, divided by four equals b, multiplied by this uh, common denominator, so four, and this is becomes times by four on top, so this is 16. So for 16 plus nine is 25, so we get b is equal to 25, this is a b, not a six, so 25 over four. So our, our final answer is gonna be y is equal to negative three over four times x plus 25 over four, or we could write it implicitly and shift times everything by four, so we get four y, and then equals to negative three x plus 25, or shift this over, so we get four y plus three x equals to 25. So we could write this implicitly, as my calculus book has it, or you could leave it as this, it would be the same thing. Yeah, and here I've actually graphed all three functions with Google Graphing Calculator. Basically what I mean, the three functions is uh, this the, the equation of the semicircles, this is the square root 25 minus x, uh, x squared, and this is square root 20, uh, negative square root 25 minus x squared, that's this one right here. So this one, I'll write this down. Yeah, so I'll write this down right here. This is negative. Uh, this, yeah, this is the negative part of the y function, and then the p top one is the positive part right there. And as you can see, that function we had, the, this one right here, the tangent line, it is tangent at basically three and four right here. So there's three, and that's four. That's three right here. As you can see, it's clearly tangent to it. Yeah, and one more thing I just wrote down here quickly is that the derivative of this top one, we're gonna have negative x divided by 25 minus x squared, all square root. And then this one here, there's the same thing, but there is a positive, well, there's a positive sign, or there's no negative sign right here. So you can put a positive right here. That's because this already has a negative, the negatives cancel, because we know that this equals to negative x over y. This equals to uh, negative x over y as well. So these are both the exact same thing, but our y changes for these two top and bottom. Well, anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully, uh, you understood from this uh, video. It's a lot of info, actually, just in the equation of a circle and plus differentiation, uh, etc. Anyways, hopefully, you learned a number. You can download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below and stay tuned for another math easy solution.